Well, I live in Hong Kong, so please do, do not confuse me as being anti-capitalist. And I think this is the important part of this conversation. Uh, I pay some of the highest rents in the world. But the, the discussion not, shouldn't, shouldn't be, I think, the Cold War discussion of, you know, you're capitalist, you're anti-capitalist. I think that's probably a lazy way to have the discussion. And from an Asian Pacific, for a, from an Asian perspective, my, my view will be that capitalism may be the best thing we've invented so far, but we'd be suggesting by the end of history if we think it's the only form. So the point I would like to finish off by saying is, the fatal flaw of capitalism, when we can talk about the banks and hedge funds and stuff like that, is that it's absolutely reliant on promoting relentless consumption through externalizing costs. I'll finish by saying, because you've only given me about 90 minutes, to imagine that in 2050, 5.5 or 6 billion Asians can aspire and live like Americans is the height of responsibility. This is simply not possible. But this is not an environmental discussion. It's a discussion about how, therefore, do we create prosperity that delivers on the social dimension, which is fundamental to creating any form of capitalism. But my, my main point is Asians should not aspire to replicate the exceptionalism of American capitalism. Okay, let's talk about an emerging.